Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now graphene has been in and out of the news for the last 20 years or so. There's been a Nobel Prize and there's been lots of talk about new technology based on this material. And in fact, we're starting to see it now turn up in consumer level products. For example, here I have an external battery, a power bank that uses a composite graphene battery. And that means it charges up very, very quickly. So if that kind of thing interests you and you want to find out more, please let me explain. Let's just talk about graphene for a moment. It is a lattice of carbon atoms, it's only one layer thick, one layer of atoms thick, and that gives you this material that is flexible but yet strong, and also has a high conductivity of electricity. And when you combine it in a composite form inside the electrodes of a battery, you can actually change the characteristics of the battery to give you much faster charging times. And so what I have here is the Real Graphene G-Series Pro external battery pack, which of course you use for charging up your devices when you're on the go. This is very much a premium product. If you look around it, it's a kind of a metal and a high quality plastic build. It's even got a built in little display which tells you how much power it's got inside of it. There are two USB type A ports. There's a micro USB B port for charging and there's a micro USB C port for both charging and for discharging. And then around the side, you've got this small on off button, chamfered edges and this nice kind of clear plastic top and bottom. The battery pack also acts as a wireless charging pad, which means if you have a smartphone that can be charged wirelessly, you can pop it on the top here and it will start to charge up. However, I will say one thing, because it has this uh, shiny transparent plastic on the top, and probably your smartphone has some kind of transparent shiny back as well, the two can be quite slippery when placed on one on top of the other and it can slide around and that was a little bit of a problem for me. However, other than that, the wireless charging works as you would expect. Okay, let's talk about charging and discharging times for a moment. If you look at this graph, that really is very linear. It goes from zero to 100% charge in exactly 50 minutes. And no matter how, where you are in the charge cycle, if you give it so many minutes, you're relatively gonna get that amount of charge. If you give it 25 minutes, you are gonna get 50% charge. Now, obviously it's using a 60 watt charger, which is provided with the battery pack. So obviously that is a high level of charging. However, it is pretty impressive on how quickly it charges and how, how linear that charging is. That's very different to what you see in a traditional mobile phone, which we'll look at uh, now. Here is the charging rate for a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. We can see it goes from zero to 100% in 98 minutes using a 15 watt charger and that's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in it. So that looks pretty impressive as well. It's a, a smaller charger, 15 watts. But actually the thing to notice is this, if you draw a line here, you notice that it goes from zero to 80% in 65 minutes. So it takes 65 minutes to get to 80%. But then if you look from 80% to 100%, it takes another 33 minutes. So what you actually find that with these traditional um, smartphone batteries, not based on graphene at all, is that actually there's a very fast ramp up to 80%, but then to go that last 20%, it took half the time again. So 65 minutes to 80%, then 33 minutes just for that final 20%. That's something you don't see in the graphene battery, which is basically a straight linear charging rate all the way from zero up to 100%. And if you plot the two of them to side by side here, again, of course, the uh, graphene battery is using a much bigger charger, but you can see the difference. You can see how long it takes to charge up uh, the Note 9, uh, 4,000 milliamps right up to 100%, and how quickly and how straight the charging of the uh, graphene battery is. Okay, let's talk about discharging for a moment. Now, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. That means it's rated at 37 watt hours, which means we know that it runs at 3.7 volts internally. Now, I took an iPhone XS Max from zero and charged it up to 100%. That's a 3,174 milliamp hour battery. I then took a Note 9, which was also empty and was able to charge it up to 81%. That's another 2,960 milliamp hour worth of battery. When you add up those two together, it's just over 6,000. So we've got a 10,000 goes to 6,000. That's perfectly normal because, because we are doing energy transfer here. We can't do energy transfer without losses. For example, the uh, real graphene 
uh, battery pack runs at 3.7 volts, but it charges at 5 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts, depending on how it's doing the quick charge and so on. And of course, each of those levels will require different amounts of amps. And so when you actually empty one battery and fill up other ones, you get about two thirds. And I have a really, really rough rule of thumb, which says that you should buy a battery bank that is twice the size that you need. So for example, if you've got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery phone and you want to charge it up twice, that's 8,000 milliamp hours, then you should buy a 16,000 milliamp hour battery. Probably that means you're going to buy a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. Now these are very much rule of thumb. Really, it's about two thirds. But if you want to do that quick calculation, just double it and then you'll be sure that you can actually charge your phone as needed. So that's perfectly normal. But of course, the graphene here doesn't help in the discharge. It only helps in the charge. In the discharge, we're still looking at the same rules that apply to all battery packs. And so there you have it, the real Graphene G Pro Series external battery. Now, so far in terms of its quick charging, it really is living up to my expectations. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.